to a poor born life. Um, for those of you who don't know me, welcome to my channel. For those who have been a subscriber for 14 years, thank you. And you may be wondering why I am back. I'm gonna tell you why. So 14 years ago, I actually started a channel. When I started my YouTube channel back then, my purpose was not to earn money or do anything like that. It was called Four Born Talks Hair because um, back then a lot of um, African-American women were going natural to our natural texture of hair and letting go of the hair relaxers. And well, that's what I was doing. I was transitioning and I was noticing that a lot of ladies who were on YouTube at that time who were transitioning, they would use products in their hair and their hair would come out all curly and just look great. And well, my hair just laughed. And I was like, I would spend a lot of money buying products and none of the products were working on my hair. So I, that's why I started a YouTube channel in case there were other women out there who were having issues just like me with their hair texture. If you go back, you can see the videos. Remember YouTube wasn't as big as it is now. Back then, all I did was sit in front of the camera and talk about my hair. So why did I stop my YouTube channel? Two things, um, other influences and life. I was getting monetized with YouTube. I had 500 subscribers. I had the watch hours. Everything was going great. And like I said, that was never my intent. But I started listening to other people and what they had to say about me. And so it just took on a negative um, role for me. And so I stopped doing YouTube. Um, but I'm older now. And so you know what? You just have to live your life. I am a Christian. I try to do what is right. I try to follow what is right. I try to follow the word of God. And we're not always going to make everybody happy. I'm going to give you the backstory of why I restarted my YouTube channel. During the pandemic, um, my four daughters all ended up working remotely. And I would getting ready to go to work and my youngest daughter because we had to hook her computer up to the modem because of for privacy issues with her job and I would be walking heading to work because, because I work in a hospital and she would be sitting over there in the corner with her robe on with her cup of coffee waiting for her to, to start working it was like I want to do that so I went back to school for two years to become a medical coder. I went through the medical coding school. I spent two years going, finishing up the school. Um, I went through the certification, which was very hard. I failed the test the first time. And then on the second time I passed. And so I became a certified medical coder. And I started thinking about it. And I started thinking about just sitting in front of the computer all day and comparing to what I currently do at the hospital. And it was like, I just didn't know. Now that I had turned 60, I didn't know if that's how I wanted to spend my life because um, there was there's another lady I listened to and she was talking how turning 60, you are in the youth of your old age. And I that was just... Filtering in my head, I'm in the youth of my old age. I'm in the youth of my old age. And I do have friends who are a little older and I see some of the struggles that they're slowly going to. And I was like, okay, this is the youth of my old age. I don't want to sit in front of a computer all day. I mean, I, I, I really like the job I currently have. It's not a terrible job. I get to interact with a lot of people. I feel like I am contributing and I help try as much as possible to make a difference in the role that I play. So, and I do have an office, <laughs> thank you. And so um, 
why would I do that to just be sitting in one spot in front of a computer? And I was like, I want to do something fun. I want to do something that I just want to do and I want to have fun. And so I was, that's one of the reasons why I started my YouTube channel back. Another reason why I started my YouTube channel back was because I see a lot of people who were doing YouTube and I was like, I used to do YouTube and I like that and I like what they're doing. It's like, why can't I do that? But guess what? I can do that. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. So that's why I am back on YouTube. And so move that back to 2023. And I was talking with um, my accountability partner and we were talking because she had started a YouTube channel um, also some years ago and then she had stopped. We both had stopped. And so we were talking and we were like, you know, in 2024, we're going to start our YouTube channels back. And so we became accountability partners and we, I came up with a whole list of things that we were going to do to stay accountable to one another. And so um, we both started our YouTube channels back in 2024. Okay, so I started my YouTube channel back and what am I going to talk about? Because I'm no longer talking about my hair. Um, I could have long conversations about hair, but I'm not. I, I bought both of us some planner notebooks. And so this is my planner notebook that I created for 2024. And this is to encourage me to do and be accountable for my YouTube channel. So my goal was with my YouTube channel was to, um, I started out saying just make one video a week and then, um, and I put on here, do it scared. Okay. And so, um, I came up with a whole list about accountability. I, you know, put in what I was doing. And then the yellow highlights me doing the video. So of course, if you go back and look, you see that I did a sketchbook tour because I was gonna use my YouTube channel to start my art career. Because I wanted to do my artwork, I was supposed to make sure that I was posting on my Instagram because I do have an Instagram. I have two. One is called Four Born at Home and one is called Four Born Art. So if you wanna go over there and check those out, you can on Instagram. I don't post on there like I plan to because I have a lot of moving parts in my life, but I do post periodically. So because I wanted to use my YouTube channel to create art, this is why it says post and market. I wanted to market my artwork. Well, that does, that hasn't been happening. Um, and then I was supposed to spend 25 minutes each day creating something. Ha, ha, ha. So um, I created a list of all the things that I wanted to create. I've made some cards. They're called mom cards. Um, hopefully one day I'm going to get those up. I was supposed to set up my Etsy, which I did set up my Etsy. And I did sell one Valentine card to my accountability partner. <laughs> So if you want to find my Etsy, you can see the card that I made. Um, I was supposed to start my website back up, but I didn't do any of that. And then, of course, I have um, what I was supposed to do, create and market. And then I had my garden wish list of what I wanted to do um, in 2024. Uh, so... In order to get to know me, I'm going to go over a few questions um, that I saw some other YouTubers use. Hopefully, it'll help you to get to know me and what my channel is all about. So the, the first question, it says, what is your name? I call myself Forborn. Why do I call myself Forborn? Because years ago, I thought that I was going to have this great country estate and it was going to be called the Forborn Estate with a reference to Pride and Prejudice. The estate was called Longborn and mine was going to be Forborn because I have four daughters. So, so I didn't get the great estate, 
So I just took on that as my uh, like avatar name for born. So that's where that came from because I have four daughters and they were all born. <laughs> okay, but my real name is Marie. Where are you from? Um, uh, originally, I'm from New Jersey, but currently I live in Georgia and I have, sometimes it's hard for me to say, but I have been living in Georgia longer than I lived in New Jersey. So I guess that makes me a Georgian. <sighs> So I never thought that I would be living in the South. I always thought I would be in New York City, living in a high rise, but I am thankful for where I am. What will your channel be about? And initially my channel was going to be my segue back into YouTube and back to what I really wanted to pursue, which was my artwork. But as I was doing the, as I was doing YouTube, um, I noticed that more of my content was on me going to estate sales and me going thrifting and me working in my yard. So my channel is about those things, which if you look at my subtitle, it says gardening, antiques, art, and books. Who are your top three? YouTubers. Okay, so it's not actually a, well, she is a YouTuber, but it has metamorphed into this whole big thing. I love Homeworthy. Um, you know, you can go to that channel, but of course you see them decorating and showing their homes. I just love it. And I love the homes that are like maximalist and they didn't go out and just purchase everything and fill up the house. I I love maximalist homes, but every time I try to start putting all that stuff everywhere, I feel like I get claustrophobic. So I just admire other people's homes. Um, another favorite YouTuber is the Yellow Urban um, Homesteader. Um, her name is Asia. I love her. I love her. Um, she's just herself. You know, she's not putting on a whole bunch of airs. She gets out there and she gardens and she talks about gardening. You can see the excitement in it. Um, and then when it comes to art, I have a lot of favorites, but I have to say um, Sandy Hester because I started watching Sandy Hester before she became really huge. She's really huge now. Well, at least in my books, I think she's huge, you know. Um, but I just love her art. Um, and that's what I was hoping to do with my channel. And it's not going in that direction. So I don't know. Um, do you have any advice for new YouTubers? This is my advice for new YouTubers. Um, don't give up. Don't always listen to the critics because that can be hard because it'll make you stop. And don't stop just because... <laughs> You only have like nine views on a video. Who knows? So my videos are not going viral. So that's okay. But um, I'm not going to give up. And I'm just going to keep doing YouTube and see where it takes me. Because I have gone back and looked at some of the people who I was following 14 years ago. And it's like, OMG. They have gotten so big and you see where their ch channel changed because back then really all I was watching was um YouTubers who were doing natural hair and now that I look at them today their channels have metamorphed into something totally different and so I don't know where my channel is gonna go but um I hope that I'll just keep doing it and stay on track and so you can see I have it in here and I write in my journal, just, just, mm. <laughs> I write in my journal, like how the video um, did and stuff, um, or if it was a flop. Um, so I hope that you'll come back and visit A Foreborn Life to see what's going on next. Let's see where I can take this channel. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. 
Um, let's see if I can go from small to being much larger. Well, thank you if you lasted this long and you didn't click through all of my video. Thank you for coming back to A Forborn Life. See you next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss my next video. Thank you for watching.